Hey guys, welcome back to Jason Joni Builds. Uh, we are in the shop here a minute just to show you what we've been up to and then um, our plan for the next few weeks. So um, as you saw, we didn't get a video put out last week and um, we're probably going to take a spring break <laughs> for, I don't know, for two or three weeks, at least until we get back from towns and we want to go to Super Celebration and I've got some work commitments coming up here real soon and then we have Easter and honestly we've done 140 videos in the last two years and we're just we just need a break you know I think uh, when I get to painting I want to be able to put my full attention on it and take my time and not rush through it and I caught myself just kind of trying to go a little fast so I think right now is a perfect time for us to just take a few weeks off. So anyway, so if you get to wondering where we are, uh, that's it. So uh, hopefully we'll see you, a lot of you guys at Super Celebration because uh, we're looking forward to that. Had a lot, had a lot of good time last year and um, hope to see you guys again. So uh, y'all see us out wandering around, come come say hello. I don't know, uh, but I will show you one thing pretty quick, what I, what I have worked on and it's kind of for my robotics team and for the Bronco. So anytime you get a new tool, you have to learn how to use it right. Well, and it was from Farley Nuclear Plant, and they donated a wood CNC machine, uh, Shapoco 4XL. And so um, I've had to spend a little time learning how to use it, so I figured I would make something for my Bronco while I'm learning how to use it for the team, right? So to explain what this is, um, you know, I've, I've seen some people with their Broncos, they'll take it and they'll basically cut this lip off and they'll square this out and give this panel some uniformity. And I didn't do that. I left mine how it was. Uh, our air conditioning system doesn't use the vent that goes here. And so I just kind of, you know, dreaming like I do, thinking what can I put here that would be kind of neat. So what, what I got thinking about is a, a small toolbox that you can keep a set of wrenches, uh, some sockets, a couple screwdrivers, pair of pliers, you know, little things that you might need if you're out driving. That way you don't have to have a bag in your in your Bronco somewhere. And then this is gonna be the lid for it. And me and Joni have been kind of working on how we want the lid to look. And she says she, well, let me show you. Um, so I built, this is kind of my, the form that I'm gonna use right now. This is a 20 gauge steel and this is all raw. Nothing's sanded or painted, of course you see that. But what I wanna do is fit this in here in the lid. We'll go on, it'll have a Zeus fastener up here where it, and then the back will be a hidden, a hidden latch back here so I don't have to have anything sticking up. So just be a one pin release and you'll lift the lid off and then you'll have your tools in here. But she's not real crazy about this overhang. She said it looks a little, little strange. So we'll work on maybe pulling it back, tightening it up a little bit more. Well, hold on, let's show them what I'm talking about. Okay. Ready? Yes. So this is the, the view she's talking about. She said it looks a little odd right here. And, and I'm with her and it's just a grunt high too so I'm gonna have to come down just a little bit but anyways it's this is just a prototype it's just a prototype <laughs> <laughs> and she's thinking something as, as far as pulling this this lip back and what I want I'm just trying to keep the rain out of it you know because uh, also if you look the way I designed the lid it's got purpose, you know, one of the cool factor of just saying Bronco in the, in the lines, but I had this cut out here because our hood has got the vent. Well, any rain that hits this, the rain will all channel to this opening and then just run out behind the fender like it's supposed to. So like I said, it, it works in a couple different ways, but anyways, so I was just messing with this so I could learn and we could teach the kids and something I wanted to do anyways. So. <laughs> so hopefully when we come back here in a few weeks, we'll have 
this made up because what actually this is going to be, this will end up being uh, like HPDE plastic, black plastic, is what the final uh, piece will be made out of. And then, of course, this will be painted and bedlined, look nice. But this is just where we're at right now, kind of playing around. But again, you guys indulge us with a, with a little break, and uh, we'll be back hopefully with some neat footage from uh, Super Celebration and maybe some fun stories too. So you guys keep building, and uh, we'll see you here in a few weeks. So thanks for watching. You guys take care. Bye.